Instagram about how I take my notes using GoodNotes. So I kind of just wanted to do a quick little tutorial or overview for you guys of how I use GoodNotes. I am currently studying for my NCLEX, which is our nursing board exam. So I'm starting from the very beginning with my note taking. So what I will do for you guys, this is what I'm currently working on, med surge, cardiovascular, and I'm using my Saunders book right now. But I will show you guys using a new document, I'm doing respiratory next. So what I love about GoodNotes is that you can have a bunch of different folders. So this folder I made my NCLEX study plan, just my calendar, and you can have a bunch of different tabs open at the top. And then I will go back for this document and start a new notebook. And GoodNotes 5, they now have a bunch of different notebook covers. So you can click the cover over here and pick from whatever you want. I used blue for cardiovascular, so I'll use the red for respiratory. And I'll just label my notebook here and hit create. Something else I do wanna show you guys is you can change the template. So just like I changed the cover, you can change the actual writing paper. So blank is just like a blank sheet of printer paper. How I write neatly is either using dotted paper or squared paper, which is the grid paper. Currently, I've been really liking the dotted. I don't really know why, but I'll show you guys what the squared looks like as well. So this is the squared grid paper. You can see the tiny little lines um, and the key to writing neatly is starting your writing really small within the, these grids. And if you wanna make it bigger, you can just resize it. But first, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my headers. So I have an app called Over, O-V-E-R, and it's free to download. Some of the functions on the inside of this app do cost money, but I use everything with the free version. So you click this little plus button right here, click transparent at the top. It doesn't really matter what size you use. I just use whatever pops up first and hit this little yellow check mark. And then you can add text at the bottom here so I'll do medical, surgical, oops, spelled it wrong, nursing, and then I'll make it respiratory. So the font that I usually use is free. It's called Cookie. There it is. I just think it's cute. So with this, when you have your text here, you can style the text, you can align it different ways, you can change the color, change the size. So I am gonna make mine bigger. And then I like adding an angle shadow to it and adjusting it so it's a little closer and just gives you a slight hint that a shadow is there. You can blur your shadow so it's not as prominent, which is something I do and then increase the opacity so it's a little darker. So once I have it how I like it, I hit this yellow check mark, and then there's a little export button up here. I hit more, copy, and then, not now, over. I go back to my GoodNotes page, and I press and hold here, and paste. And there it is. So now I press and hold here, I use the crop tool and then just crop out my entire title and then I can resize it and I make it really, really big at the top of my page. So there's your title. So now with taking notes, let's go to my respiratory. So I use the brush pen in black for most of my writing. Some of them I will change the color and then I use a really small thin point. So this is 0.25. Sometimes I'll go up to 0.3 with the brush pen, but I'll start with 0.3 to show you guys. And when I zoom in, you can see how small the squares are. And 
I'll just start writing. So this is pressure sensitive. If you press harder, it's gonna be thicker. If you press lighter, it'll be thinner. So it takes a little bit of practice, especially writing with the brush pen, but if you choose something like the fountain pen, it's less noticeable. But it's all pressure sensitive and it just takes a little practice. So I'll start with just generally writing and taking my notes. So since this is a header in my notes, I can circle it using the lasso tool and resize it to make it bigger or small. So you can actually start writing anywhere on the page, anywhere on the page, because you can resize it and move it anywhere. So I'm gonna go back to my brush pen and I'm gonna make my first header which is anatomy and physiology of the respiratory system. And since this is a subheader in my notes, I'll circle it using this lasso tool up here and I can resize it, place it here, and then I'll add my highlight color which it'll automatically highlight it in a straight line for you, which I really like now. And you can also change the sizes of your highlighter to make it thicker or thinner. So that's a really cool function. And then I'll just keep on writing. <laughs> So what I find super helpful with the grid paper is that you can size your letters and keep them within the boxes so they look nice and neat on the page. So you see as I'm writing, I'm scrolling to the side. That is personally how I usually take my notes, but something else you can do is click this little window screen up here and drag your little box, your text box, and you can start writing in the text box and it'll move it over for you. So I'll show you guys. Let's do... So you see, as I started writing, the little blue box popped up. So what you can do, instead of scrolling all around the page, if this is easy, easier for you, you can start writing in the little blue box and it will automatically move it over for you. So I'll start down here. And then as you can see, it just keeps moving it over for me so I don't have to scroll back and forth on the page. A couple other features I wanna show you guys real quick is the shapes tool. So now you can have the shapes filled with color or you can have it without color. I'll make it a little thicker ballpoint pen so you can see it. So if you draw a circle, it'll make it an automatic circle for you. Um, or if you click fill color, I'll draw it in blue, another circle, and it'll fill that color in blue. And then if you just want the color, hit that little undo button and the shading stays there. So I'll use this in my notes, for example, like my significant heart rates or numbers I wanna remember, I will outline those in red 
so I know to go back and review over them. And then lastly, I will show you guys how to add pictures in your notes. So whatever picture you want, let's just go to Google and find, oh, here's my little heart picture. So I'll click this. You can bring up your Good Notes app on the side. So I'll click this one. I'll bring up my Good Notes app on the side if I don't exit out of it. And you just click and drag it to the side. And you can do this with your PowerPoints also, which I find super helpful. But since I don't have PowerPoints anymore, it's kind of a bummer. So you just click and drag, and there it is. You can resize it and crop it however you want. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I will be doing more Good Notes tutorials on my channel if you guys like it. If you have any other questions, please let me know and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.